Now today was supposed to be a day where I was not going to do a video. However, we got a situation here where Shad Gaspard, now for those of you that don't recognize the name, he was the bigger guy that was in the crime time uh, tag team in wrestling. Again, you guys might not know that off the top of your head, but I promise you that most people seeing this know exactly who he is if they saw the picture of him. Uh, a situation where he is lost at sea. He was with his son. Uh, I believe they were swimming in California and there was a strong riptide current that was uh, involved. And I guess he yelled out to the people that were trying to rescue them to save his son first. Now, first off, that's very admirable. Uh, not only that, but they're still looking for him. So I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but the odds of survival are very low. But we're going to talk about this topic. Uh, and this is going to be the only topic in today's video. So I urge everybody to like, hit the link, subscribe, do everything you got to do to push this out there. And uh, here we I knew that when I started this, there was going to be some topics that were difficult to talk about. Some topics that were either emotional, unpleasant, or just all over the place. This is one of those topics. This is one of those topics. Shad Gaspard, for those of you that don't know, was a member of Crime Time, and a lot of you know exactly who that is because around that age range, a lot of people that were in my age group that uh, stopped watching wrestling, a lot of it was very popular then. Um, he is missing right now. He was actually um, at sea with his son. Uh, they were swimming. They were swimming at Venice Beach in California. A lot of you probably know where that is on Sunday with his 10 year old son when a strong rip current struck right around them. Uh, the report I have here is from TMZ. There's other reports as well, uh, but the report I have here is is just, you know, it kind of sums it up very quickly. Officials are desperately searching for ex WWE superstar Shad Gaspard after he went missing during a swim at Venice Beach on Sunday with his 10 year old son. Gaspard and his son were among a group of swimmers caught in a strong rip current around 4 p.m. with lifeguards racing into the water to pull everyone out. Uh, I don't know how many people got pulled out of this rip current. I do know his son did. Um, at the 39-year-old's discretion, Gaspard said that he wanted his, or he, he said to save his son first. Gaspard's son was rescued, but the 39-year-old pro wrestler has not been located. So if there's anything admirable about that, it is his sense of dignity and fatherhood because he elected to have his son saved first before him, and it potentially could have cost him his life. Um, I don't know about the other people that were swimming with them. I don't know if they were all saved. It would be very unfortunate if they were all saved and Shad did not make it. He was the one that was not saved. Uh, they were caught in a strong rip current, like I mentioned, Sunday. Um, the, the flyer here says missing as of May 17, 2020. Last seen at Marina Del Rey Beach. Name Shad Gaspard, height 6'7", weight 265. If you've seen him, please call 911 or DM family. One official working with the LA Fire Department told media they believe the 39-year-old did submerge. So that's even worse. That's even worse. Not only did, um, you know, was he lost at sea and, and in a difficult situation. Now, we don't know where he is now. He's underwater. So that is very unlikely. I do not mean to be a Debbie Downer. Um, but I was told as of 7 a.m. this morning, they were still searching for him. And if there's one thing I know... Or one thing a lot of us know, when you're searching for someone lost at sea for more than 12 hours and you can't find them, unfortunately, there's a very good chance that that person did not make it. Or that person is not alive. Now, we don't know this for sure. Again, this is all speculation on my behalf. His chances of, of, of still being alive at this point, to me, are very, very slim to none. When they say that he's submerged, now he's underwater. Humans, humans can't live underwater, okay? That's common knowledge. Uh, divers were sent to scour the area Helicopters were searching from above One witness at the scene tells us When lifeguard when lifeguards raced into the ocean Gaspard directed rescuers to help his son first Which they did So at this point Gaspard was still above water During the rescue we're told another big wave crashed down on Gaspard And that's the last time he was seen So they were looking for him And another wave hit him down And that could have been the one that honestly I hate to say it could have taken his life Hopefully I'm, I'm very very wrong There's nobody that wants to be more wrong than me, okay? Um, we're told the photo of Shad, of, of Shad officials are using the search included in his post was taken earlier Sunday before the incident. Um, the photo, I, I'll try to display it there. Um, there's a photo on here um, of, of lifeguard vans on the beach. I don't know exactly what happened at Venice Beach. Um, I'm sure, I don't know what it looks like right now. Uh, there's probably a good chance that the beach was actually... Uh, 
shut down temporarily. Uh, they, they were at the beach that day with his wife and 10-year-old son. Gaspard was a big star. This is just his history for WWE back in the day, making one half of the tag team crime time with his partner, JTG. Um, outside of pro wrestling, Gaspard also, this is another thing to be respected of, he made headlines in 2016 when he stopped an armed robbery in Florida. Uh, in fact, Shaq came on the TMZ Sports TV show to talk about it and couldn't have been a nicer guy. Uh, so this is just a really unfortunate event. Um, again... You know, some of the some of the details on here aren't as clear. Uh, we don't know if he's still alive. Again, we don't know. I'm sure at uh, Venice Beach, they're probably still searching for him. Um, and I don't know what the, the timetable is exactly of when lifeguards and different um, lifeguards and, and different authorities. I don't know what their timetable is of how long they search for somebody that is as lost at sea. Uh, but I can tell you this, if he's been lost since 4 p.m. yesterday, there's a good chance that, and they were still looking for him at 7 a.m. this morning, that he's probably not alive. And again, I don't want to say that again. I don't want to be one of those people. Um, but again, it's one of those situations where it's just, you know, you're going, you're going to the beach, you're going for a swim with your family, and you never expect something like this to happen, and, and you never expect it to be your last day. Again, there are chances that it could still be a miracle. They could still find him, but it just looks very, very unlikely. Um, and again, the title on here says X uh, WWE superstar Shad Gaspard goes missing during a beach swim, massive lifeguard search. Um, you know, thoughts and prayers are with his family. I'm sure this is a very nerve wracking time for them as it is for all of us. But we, we hope, um, I think I speak for on behalf of everybody that there's some miracle here where they could find him. Uh, but if he, he did submerge underwater after that rip current, that is, that is, uh, that is probably really, really bad if he did. Um, those are the details I have. I actually have a, uh, an Instagram post here that was, um, somebody put all the details there. Uh, I might use that for my description. I don't really, I don't want to steal people's things, so I might put it in my own way. But from what we know, his son was saved. Um, potentially, they're actively still looking for him. And again, hopefully some, some miracle happens. But um, it's... It's just a really unfortunate circumstance, and this is a much rather short video than a, than a video you guys are used to. Um, but this is just one of those things where I felt like it was important enough to talk about. Um, and again, you know, not all of these topics are fun. Not everything's a joke. Not everything's all sports related. This is uh, human life. So hopefully uh, Mr. Gaspard is okay. And, uh, you know, hopefully they keep looking for him and, and maybe a miracle happens. You never know. But, um... This is just a really unfortunate circumstance, but my thoughts and prayers are out to the family and everybody that is very close to Mr. Shad Gaspar. I uh, didn't know him personally, but he seemed like he was a a a a plus guy. So uh, thoughts and prayers are with them. And uh, again, I urge everybody to like, hit the subscribe button, push notifications will alert you when a video is dropped. Um, and uh, thank you as always for watching.